Okay, when you're making your mask, you're gonna pick a stencil or pattern to use. I'm gonna use this one. Now, my mask is long and tall, not like this one that's fat and wide. So if it's fat and wide, you would do a hamburger fold. This one's a hot dog fold. So I'm gonna take my paper and fold it in half so it's long and skinny like a hot dog. Then I'm gonna take this mask and where the fold is, I'm gonna put the two folds together. So fold on the fold. Then click it in. I'm gonna hold it there and take a pencil. I'm gonna use Sharpie so you can see it, but you do it in a pencil and you just trace it. Remember, if you wanna pick your own design, make your own design for a mask, you can do that too. Once I have that done, I can take it off. Now I'm going to cut it. I keep it folded to cut. This is so the mask stays symmetrical. I'm gonna cut it out, I cut parts off of it as I go. I find that easier, you can do what you want. We're using thicker paper, so it's a little bit harder to cut. Then, when we open it up, we have a nice symmetrical mask. Next, we're going to do the mouth. And you can decide to do any kind of mouth, and we're gonna discuss that during class, and I'll have some examples on the board. I'm gonna do mine a wide open mouth. So it's in half, I only draw half of the mouth. So I'm gonna draw half of a circle because my mouth is gonna be wide open, like he's either yelling or yawning. I'm gonna cut that out. I'm not cutting right in my lines. I'm gonna have a little bit bigger mouth. And if you open it up, there is the mouth. Go ahead and go do a mouth. Next, we're gonna do a nose. The nose gets a little more difficult because we don't want the nose to fall out. We want it to stay. So again, I'll have an example on the board. I'm gonna draw the nose here. Now this line, I'm not gonna have it touch the fold because I don't want it to come out. If it does, if it comes out, that's fine, but it looks more like a jack-o'-lantern. I'm gonna cut the nose, and this is kind of fun part. So once I have it cut, I'm gonna take this and I can bend it like this, and then the nose sticks out just a little bit like our noses do. The eye, probably the most difficult one because we don't want to do half of an eye because we need two eyes. Remember, you can make your eyes any shape you want. I'm gonna make mine football shape. I'm gonna draw it in the middle like that. Now, I'm gonna need to cut it out. I can't get to it. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut a little line and don't worry, I will tape that for you so it doesn't show. I'll have it taped by next week. And then you go ahead and cut it out. And then when you open it up, there is your mask. Then the next step will be to paint the mask. For the mask, we're going to do neutral colors, earth tones. So you're going to get either gray or tan. You're gonna have a newspaper underneath because we're gonna paint all the way to the edges and this will save us from getting it all over the table. So my table got gray paint. So I'm just gonna take, and I'm gonna take my brush and you paint the whole mask. And you just go back and forth, back and forth like this. Remember, no snow plowing. Don't take it and try to scoot it this way. It doesn't really work. You need to go back and forth. And you're gonna do that until your whole mask is painted. Once it's all painted, you're gonna take the newspaper and your mask to the dry rack. Have fun. Now we're going to paint the kente colors on our mask. So we're gonna do this using a paintbrush to start with. And you're gonna pick whatever color you wanna use and you can do any shapes you want, but we need to keep it symmetrical. So let's say I'm gonna take yellow paint and I'm gonna paint a line around this eye So if I do a line around this eye with yellow, where else do I have to do yellow? If you said the eye over here, you are correct. I couldn't do this one like a blue eye because then it wouldn't be symmetrical. Same on both sides. So 
when I get this done, I'm going to think where else I want to put yellow because I could start with another color, but I'm going to use a lot of yellow first so I don't have to keep washing and drying my brush. So let's say I want to do a yellow triangle over here. Then where else do I need to do a yellow triangle? Over here. Now I'm going to change colors. So I'm going to scrub it in the bottom. Then I'm going to wipe it on this paper towel. If it comes out clean, I know I'm doing okay. It still has a little bit of yellow, so I'm going to scrub some more. Okay, that's pretty clean. Make sure it's nice and dry. And then I'm going to take some blue, and I'm going to put a big old circle on the nose here. Now, is there any place else I need to do a circle to keep it symmetrical? No, because this divides right in half, so there's half a circle on each side. So I could keep doing that. I want to make it look interesting, so I could keep painting. But you notice I have a pencil sitting here, too. I'm going to wash and dry this brush and set it aside and grab this pencil. The eraser is going to be kind of our stamp or our paintbrush for this. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna dip it in the red and this makes nice, perfect circles. So let's say around the edge of the mask, I wanna do some circles. I'm gonna do a circle here, which if I do a circle there, I'm gonna do a circle here. And then I'm gonna leave a little space between these. I'm gonna put some other colors in there. So I'm gonna try to equally space it out around the edge knowing I need to do both sides to keep it symmetrical. I ran out of paint there. I'm gonna make that one a little bit bigger. Okay, and I could keep doing that all the way around. Then for this one, I'm gonna add some water to it, but this one I'm really gonna to have to wipe it off with a paper towel until it's nice and clean. It's not clean yet. You're gonna go through probably more than one paper towel today. Okay, that's pretty clean. Then I can like put it in the green and then I could do green dots next if I wanted to. Oh, again, that one I tried to go too far. You could do several dots, but you do need to add more paint. Okay. Now you tell me, is it symmetrical so far? Yes. But is it done? No, it's still kind of boring. I need to add more detail. I also need to make sure I use every Kente color that we had talked about. So I've only done several of them. I just haven't done any black for sure. I think I've used all the rest of the colors, but it's boring. I need to add more stuff. So have fun painting.